from the chain that does a lot of things that don't quite make sense comes like, what, seven coasters named Goliath? Because when you have the name already trademarked, let's just beat it to a pulp. After all, the real Goliath died centuries ago, so it's not like he can sue him. Cast your gaze upon multiple coasters, all named after the same creative geniuses behind Batman The Ride, Superman Ultimate Flight, and The Joker. All of which have at least four coasters with that name. What were they thinking? It's time to play Wheel of Coasters! If you're just now joining us, we're here with Scott, who is looking to name some of the newest coasters coming to Six Flags. Would you like to tell us about them? Yeah, they're when Great. we go. Now he's already landed on the four times the prize spot, which won him four Jokers and four Superman Ultimate Flights. Scott has six coasters left without names, all of which will be determined by whatever spot this wheel lands on. Scott, are you ready? Absolutely. I was really hoping that way. Great! It's... Let's take a spin. And our first name is. Goliath! How do you feel about that? Well. Awesome! No one cares! Let's spin again! And our next name is. To. Goliath! Hey, you moved it! No, I didn't. But it was. Let's go again! I swear if it lands on Goliath. Goliath! I didn't even spin it that time! Oh, I know! I didn't move the wheel. Okay, you know what? This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Hi, I'm from the Netherlands. Can I borrow that? Sure! Walk up to the numerous entrance signs, which all have nothing in common, with the exception of the word that is the literal translation of big. Yeah. Of all the awesome nouns they could have duplicated, they chose that? Might as well have named the ride giant, or large, or huge. You've heard the name. Now meet the rides. From Six Flags comes a B&M Hyper, RMC Woody, Giant Inverted Boomerang, Geo Vanilla Hyper, and a B&M Invert. So, none of them are anything alike? Great, that'll make this confusing. Hey, I love Goliath. Which one? The one has Six Flags, obviously. Okay, you know what? This is getting ridiculous. Because all of these stupid rides sharing the same stupid name, I don't know which one we're freaking talking about. At this point, let's just go ahead and parody all of them. Because the rate we're going, why not? First up is a coaster built by the company that went bankrupt after they realized they weren't as good as B&M. Man, can you imagine if B&M did instead? Uh, yeah, I can actually. It's called Raging Bull. And honestly, it's not that great. Enter through either side of the giant eye and prepare for advertising. Honestly, when I see that many signs telling me to go watch a show, it doesn't make me want to go watch it. In fact, it actually makes me want to avoid it. Same reason why I still have yet to try Takis, or why Taylor refuses to put Got to be glued in his hair. After walking through the jungles of Africa, finally notice the massive hypercoaster placed before you, whose orangish color can only be compared to the color of Donald Trump's face. But since you've all seen the Titan parody, we already know what the ride experience is like. Same stupid drop, no airtime, and it's still forceless as crap. What do you mean forceless? It is easily the most forceful ride at this park. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Okay, maybe it is. But it is still more forceful than Millennium Force. No, it's not. I gotta. Jeez, those two need couples counseling. But you'd at least think they'd pick a better ride to argue over. I couldn't care less if they scrapped this thing. It's got the stats, but that's about it. Should have gotten a B and M. That is still true. That mid-course break run still sucks, and yes, Goliath is also Illuminati. Next! You weren't actually sad when Iron Wolf closed, and jumped for joy when you found out that its replacement would be none other than one of RMC's beautiful, exhilarating, long ride... Oh. What happened? I mean, it looks great and all, but that's probably a fourth of the length of Wicked Cyclone. And with all the awesome names like Outlaw Run, Lightning Rod, oops, uh, not that one, and Wildfire. You think that Six Flags would decide to give a freaking RMC a decent name. But I guess besides the name and length, there's not much to make fun of here. Because everything RMC does is flawless. So, next. 
You've been sick and tired of riding boomerangs ever since you've become a coaster enthusiast. Now stare at a coaster, because, you know, it's broken down, that is super tall, super fast, but somehow still manages to suck. Someone screwed up, and it wasn't Josh from King's Dominion this time. Next! Hey, that's not a Six Flags park. What's that doing in here? Ah, Taylor must have put that in here by mistake. Next! How dare you skip over the most- NEXT! Relocated from the closed Six Flags New Orleans is a Batman the Ride clone that for some reason doesn't have the name Batman the Ride. Now why they didn't do that is beyond me, because Goliath is probably the most inaccurate name possible, considering there's literally four other coasters in the park larger than Goliath. Depart the station and begin ascending up the- wait, hold up. We've done this before. Ah, forget this. NEXT! Oh, finally, a coaster with an appropriate name. And a B&M hyper? I can hear the angels singing. Nothing to be made fun of here. Next! Oh, that's it? Well, that's nice. Hey, name where it did. You forgot the one that we're on. Uh, where? Is that park in Canada? Oh, that's right, the one we don't talk about. Yeah, who cares about them, eh? Goliath. It may or may not be large now at Six Flags. And that one random park in Europe that we could care less about. How dare you- Next!